Hey, hello everybody, I'm excited about this. Where's this shadow come from? We've never had a shadow here before. I'm me and Fala by Moon Shadow. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell if this is your first time visiting our channel. This is, uh, everyone's been extraordinarily excited about this. This is the uh, first teaser trailer uh, that's landed for the Back to Black film, which is the story of Amy Winehouse's life. Um, this is to be directed or is directed by Sam Taylor Johnson. She, she of oh, Fifty Shades of Grey and Misery and all that kind of stuff. But she did also do the, uh, the movie uh, of John Lennon's life, didn't she? Uh, mm -hmm. In which she met her, her, her husband. It stars, kind of, she's not a newcomer, but she, she makes, she sort of, she's known to people through her roles in Industry and the Sky One series Cobra. Marisa, Marisa Ab Abella. Abella. Marisa Abella. Yes. Sam Taylor Johnson was saying that in, in audition she was extraordinarily excited because she walked in and she was the only one that didn't put on all the eyelashes and, uh, you know, eyeliner and hair and all that kind of stuff. Do you know what? It really pisses me off when directors say that. Oh, right. Uh, Why? I was really excited. Oh. Did you get so do you. Give them a steer. You know, have you got any idea, <laughs> directors, what actors and actresses go through? For them, that's prepping and wanting, because so often you could get turned down for a part because you haven't come in looking at exactly how they imagined it. So, mm. bog off. Bog off. Oh, well, there so we go. excited she came in without any eyelashes or any... Well... Well, don't agree. Okay. Um, so uh, <laughs> alongside Marissa Abella is Jack O'Connell is playing um, her boyfriend. Blake. 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 Fielder Civil. Eddie Marson is playing her father. Um, Juliet Cohen, Cowan Cohen is playing her mum. And Leslie Manville is playing her nan. Juliet Cohen's a great, great actress, cast, Leslie yeah. Manville. Great yeah. cast. Brilliant cast, absolutely sensational. It's very much seen as an antidote, or the, I think the estate are wanting it to be an antidote to the Amy documentary, which I think is quite ludicrous because the Amy documentary is in many ways what refired Amy into the stratosphere, I think, after she died. But if does this mean that we have to be prepared for it being a bit of schmaltz? Well, one never knows the extent to which it can ask as many probing questions as, mm. it, as you would like it to. So, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they deal with certain. But then the, again, the we have seen the addiction do documentary. Yeah, and maybe this is about not raking over all of that, but just seeing the extraordinary mm. power and beauty of this woman and her talent. Absolutely, absolutely. So, if it's not a cover up, and it's a celebration of the side that we don't see enough of, yeah. I will be, I'll be okay with that. But if I feel a major sort of like twist of what we know to be true, because we've seen it with our own eyes, that would be annoying. There we go. I don't write songs to be famous. I write songs because I don't know what I'd do if I didn't. people to hear my voice <laughs> and just forget their troubles <laughs> you gotta remember i ain't no spy scale amy winehouse <laughs> I don't know where to start with that really. Um, it's always wonderful to hear her voice. It's always wonderful to hear the song. And that's Amy's full voice. That's the actress's voice. Oh, that's the actress. Well, that's very like. Oh, that's incredibly good. Incredibly good. Um, okay, I, I really struggle at this point because I feel like I've just watched every cliche you see in a biopic, mm -hmm. and I even down to where you see her at her physically less healthy or happy. It's a romantic shot of her on Primrose Hill with the sun mm. setting and rising behind her. And I think those kind of choices really matter. Not, it's not about going for bleak, but I think it's going for real. And I think we are looking at a very romanticised portrait. That's my guess. The thing is, for us as a family, that documentary was just a huge thing for all mm. of us, wasn't mm. it? It's, it's like you said, it's where we all really discovered her, yeah. you know. 
uh, one of our daughters just was completely her, her passion was completely lit by that mm. film, mm. wasn't it? And it and it was a brilliantly made documentary. Of course, people that knew her and knew her well will have everyone Old will have their feelings it. Yeah. about it. But um, at the end of that documentary, I had enormous respect, admiration, interest and sympathy for her. It wasn't a documentary where I thought, oh, what a disgusting person with all mm. those addi uh, addiction problems, which maybe people close to her might have worried mm. about. Mm. Um, her, she was so unique. She was such one of a kind that that poor actress, as I'm watching her, I'm just thinking, you just don't have that thing, mm. that light, that, that grit... Mm. It, it just the vulnerability it just wasn't there it was acted which of course it is just, I mean she might be brilliant in it as an actor but just from the trailer taking just the trailer I felt a bit empty watching it I, well, and maybe that's because I've been spoiled with the documentary and we know her face so well and we know the grit behind her eyes don't mm. we you know that that sweetness and that vulnerability all those things so the poor actress has an enormous hill to climb if you are a fan of the documentary and of and yeah, I also wonder whether just because we can make films about everyone, should we always make films about it? I don't know. There's, I mean, you can't stop it happening. I can't help but feel that this feels a little bit like the next step in extracting a little bit more out from, of her. From, from her, out of her. I mean, Absolutely. the thing is, you know, right at the beginning, that quite annoyed me, what you said to her. Oh, we were so excited because she came in without her eyelashes. Well, then, are you, were you going to show us something different? Were you going to show us sort of an image of her. But what you wanted was us to look at an exact identical copy of Amy Winehouse. Mm. And that actress is not it. Mm. Well, she doesn't have it. So maybe we should have looked closer at the people that came in, really, really inhabiting, inhabiting her. <laughs> because when I'm watching it, I don't feel like she's inhabited Amy. But also there's the other danger with the film that's seeking to kind of really cross over to the mainstream as well. And I think this is something that the documentary didn't even want to try and do. It just happened to reach a bigger audience. I think It's that thing when you make a film where you try and reach as big an audience as possible, actively. Keep everybody actively. happy. You have lines in it like, you, you, like I said, I'm not a spice girl. You have mm. clear earmarking of how she's different, what marks them mm. as different, you know, and so you have all this kind of signposting. The Amy documentary, the way that worked for me was it was just an honest, searing, difficult, painful portrait mm. of a young girl of a lost. tragic and I thought Stop. I had a public image of her that I had in my head and it was to I was totally wrong-footed, whereas this... Takes me back to that. Takes me back to the... Pre yeah. Mm. There aren't many true stars, true unique stars of the new talent, and I, de I definitely think she's one of them. I'm just thinking, if you weren't a real fan of hers, and, you know, we certainly mm. became a real fan from watching the documentary, I think you'll probably be very entertained by this story of this girl, but I think they will struggle uh, with the audience of real fans of her. Do you, you think? Do? I think so. But, of course, we've just seen the trailer. We yeah. could be completely wrong. And it's a teaser trailer. Thing. It's a teaser. Yeah. So we don't know. But that's just my initial feeling. It just felt a bit too sugar-coated, even Bio in her terms. You don't want to watch a biography, an autobiography, and, and feel that you're watching a biopic. No. You don't want that to be in your head. I have a problem with... You want to be, you want to be in her. You want to be with her. You want to be... I have a real problem with biopics, sugar-coated biopics, where the estate are on board. I just, so I just... It's, this it's this terrible thing. If you want their music, yeah. you have to have the estate on board. If you have the estate on board, they're going to go through everything with a fine tooth cane. Yeah. Boom. Fume. And rose-tinted. But what do you think, guys, so far? 